Hey, so I'm docked up here at James Island. Uh, it's a pretty popular marine state park. I'll give you a little panoramic view. Uh, right now I'm on the east side of the island. So let me show you around here. Over there is the camp spots. Uh, that side of the island doesn't really have much hiking trails. Uh, over here is a really nice shot of Cypress Island. You can actually see Eagle Cliff poking up there in the distance. And uh, you can see there's three mooring buoys on the on the east side of the island here. And that's looking out to Anacortes. And uh, this is the beach on the east side and there are uh, three or four, no there's four camp spots here and a toilet over there. Uh, and there's a hiking loop that goes around the southern end of the island here. And uh, over there again is more camp spots and the, the two main bathrooms are, are over that way in the center of it. Uh, the island makes this sort of saddlebag shape so it has a cliff over there and, and a high top over there and then this saddlebag shape in between. It's pretty pretty common for, for San Juan Islands. Uh, for some reason they, 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 it's pretty common to take this form. So yeah, that's a quick brief on James Island. Pretty cool place. I like it. So the one thing to keep in mind about James Island is it is completely overrun with very aggressive uh, raccoons. So if you camp, just be aware of that. Uh, it's one of those islands where you should hang your food up, and uh, just they, you know, they they will come and get your food. <laughs> and uh, you'll probably hear them if you're camping. I've never actually camped on the island. We always stay on our boat. Uh, we have had otters climb on our boat in the middle of the night. Um, in fact, we had one climb up on our upper deck. Uh, and he was up there for a while and I didn't really feel like shooing him off, so I just let him do his thing. He eventually found his way off. And uh, there's deer on the island. Uh, very little water. If you come here in the summertime, uh, you'll notice that there's there's no water on the island. The deer have a hard time uh, finding enough water. That, I think that's the limiting factor on their population. But that's also why the raccoons are so prevalent because they don't have any natural predators here. Um, they have easy handouts from the visitors and they're smart enough to dig for water. So uh, I think that explains the extent of the the raccoon population.